The Kenya Farmers Association is drowning in debt, which Munya says is owed to former employees, financial institutions and suppliers. Out of 67 branches, only 33 are operational. The giant cooperative has for a long time been contravening set regulations, which among them failing to conduct elections for several years, thus rendering the immediate former boss illegitimate. It is evident that there has been no election for several years thus rendering it illegitimate. Further, the immediate former board and failed to account for its activities by one, failing to convene general meetings contrary to section 27 of the Cooperatives Act. The former board also borrowed in contrast with Cooperative Society's Rule 34, disposing assets without members' approval and incurring expenditure without approved budget in contravention to Rule 12. So the immediate former board of KFA and appoint a caretaker board consisting of nine persons. Two, the caretaker board to be in office for a period not exceeding six months with the following mandate. A, to conduct the affairs of KFA in accordance with established laws and regulations for a maximum benefit for the members. The board is expected to undertake KFA operations, verify assets and liabilities, clean member register, review and amend KFA bylaws, update accounts and embark on an audit of financial statements and convene a general meeting. President Uhuru Kenyatta directed Agriculture and Trade Ministries to revive the association which is considered crucial in maintaining quality farm inputs, organized marketing and provide affordable credit to farmers. The new board is expected to make periodic reports to the CS and the Commissioner for Cooperatives.